What is up everybody? I'm Star Awards and yes, that is right guys, I'm very sorry but there is no face cam today. Unfortunately, I was up all last night trying to shiny hunt a Bidoof. Yes, out of all the Pokemon I could shiny hunt, I wanted a shiny Bidoof. And unfortunately, I caught like seven legends and then like, how many? Like seven or six shinies, and not one of them was a shiny Bidoof. The most common like Pokemon on Route 7, and I never even got it. I just, I was flabbergasted, honestly. And uh, yeah, the reason why I don't have the face cam is I've been up all night, I haven't slept, and it basically looks like I've been run over by a truck that had poop on the wheel. And the poopy wheel of the, tr of the truck like hit me in the face and I just look like that and I don't really want to let you guys see that I don't want to hurt you emotionally and I don't want to scar your eyes for life so that's why I've turned off today's face cam so I do apologize about that but still we have some very awesome content in store today so this a kind of video is powered by a tweet from Lando himself. It is an official tweet about the new 7th gym city called Frostvale. And uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. I'm going to be showing you the tweet right now. And as you can see, there it is, guys. We have our first official look at what this city's theme is going to be. You know, every city kind of has a theme. Uh, of course, you know, the first electric city had a lot of electricity kind of uh, pylon wires everywhere. Is that right to say that? I don't know. Uh, and then, of course, the latest city, which is uh, the, si seventh, uh, the sixth gym city, that had, like, loads of crystals. But this one has like a medieval kind of look, you know, there's obviously some kind of castle kind of courtyard theme going on here. Of course, we can see on the right hand side, that's kind of like an archer tower that they used to use in the in, in the olden days to kind of like spot uh, oncoming people and everything. And yeah, it's all kind of brick. It's all just made out of brick. But one thing that really kind of is kind of pleasing about the screenshot that we're looking at right now. You see that big tower on the right hand side? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm probably gonna glitch inside that. I'm probably gonna get up there. Yeah, I'm sorry to say, Build Hero, I love your your amazing builds, but I just love glitching. I'm finding out if you, if you put any, like, little secret things around the map. I really hope you do that in the future, by the way. Uh, but still, guys, it, very, it looks very awesome, you know? It definitely hits that very medieval kind of old-towny look. And in my personal opinion, that goes very well with kind of snowy locations uh, like so if I think back to like Harry Potter movies like a lot of the snowy areas in the Harry Potter movies had these kind of looking towns where it was like cobblestone and kind of brick walls and everything so yeah very good work at the, to build hero there but uh, at the bottom of the tweet you can actually see Lando says this and uh, I quote this so yeah Frostvale leak built by build hero we have a set goal to have the 7th gym by the 14th. We'll try our hardest to have it done by then. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. He just says that, really. And uh, yeah, basically he's saying that this gym, or the 7th gym update, will hopefully be coming to our Roblox screens on the 14th of April. Yes, that is right. It's like, what, 10 days away or something like that? Or 11 days away? That is absolutely amazing. Uh, but he says, we'll try our hardest to have it done by then. So, you know, it, it's not always as simple as just kind of making the updates and putting it onto the onto the servers and updating their game. There's a lot more to that, guys. And uh, unfortunately, you know, it, it may not come out on the 14th, but judging by uh, Pokemon Brick Bronze's track record with keeping promises, I think they keep them pretty well. And I think that we could possibly see it uh, on the 14th, which is a Friday. And I really hope we do, because that's kind of like a late birthday present for me. Uh, my birthday is on the 9th of April. I turn 24. Wow, where have the years gone? I, I just don't know where the years have gone. Hold on to your childhood, guys. Uh, but anyway, still, uh, that, that will be a very nice kind of late birthday present for me. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I know a lot of your guys' birthdays is at the very start of April. I've seen a lot of people tweeting about what their birthdays are. And uh, happy birthday to you guys, by the way. And uh, hopefully we can all, all of us in, in April can have a really either 
early birthday gift or late birthday gift. You know, it's it, it, it'll be good either way. It's a, it's a it's a brand new city, guys. Come on. Uh, but yeah, there's nothing really much to talk about this, guys. Other than, you know, it kind of does set the snowy theme. And I don't know. I guess, yeah, it just looks pretty awesome. I'm hoping that at the back of those houses there where that gate is, like maybe you can open it up and kind of go in uh, to the back of there and maybe there's like a secret guy in like a hoodie, like selling a ditto or, you know, a Lapras or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. But uh, I am very much looking forward to this update, guys. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. Can you not wait for the 14th, seriously? And uh, yeah, if you guys have any tips for kind of what I should do, in my boredom times while I'm waiting for this gym, uh, comment them below too. I'd like to know what you guys get up to when you're bored in Pokemon Brick Bronze. Uh, but anyway, guys, have a fantastic day, and until next time, I've been Star Lord. Uh, see ya. Pew. <laughs> it's kind of weird doing my outro without the without the face cam, isn't it? I I don't know. Well well anyway, guys, see ya.